Ladies and gentlemen, y'all asked for it. We're bringing it. This, if you don't know, this is Florence Ballard, founding member. I repeat, founding member of the Supremes. If it wasn't for her, there are no Supremes. If it wasn't for her, there are no Supremes. I'll say it again. I'm going to be firing shots all series long. This story disgusted me and it's time to get in it. Let's go. Sadly, our queen passed away February the 22nd, 1976. The stories are conflicting on whether she was the eighth of 13 children or the ninth of 15 children. It's hard to say. And right off the bat, a soldier. She is going to make you rearrange your top 10. The best singer that the Supremes ever had. And it was at least four or five of them interchangeably. She the one got the Supremes the contract. They were just the primates then. And they were trying to get a contract deal. And she brought along Mary Wilson and Diana Ross later on. And they formed the primates because the primes needed somebody to back them up. So eventually they started hanging out at Motown and Barry Gordy thought they were too young to do anything. And, you know, he allowed them later on to eventually start, you know, doing a little secretarial work and singing back up for people like Marvin Gaye, Smokey Robinson and other people. For the longest, they didn't have a hit. So there was a time where they had to come up with a new name because they didn't want the primates. So by it being her group, it was her group. I repeat, it was her group. She changed the name to the Supremes herself. They didn't like it. Oh, well, it was her damn group. So finally, they got a couple of hits under their belt or whatever. And this hanging out at Motown would prove costly later on. Because I know her and her brother went to a sock hop. I read her, where her and her brother went to a sock hop dance. They got kind of separated. And... She ran into this basketball player by the name of Reggie Harding, who offered to take her home. She knew him. I believe this clown was 17. So he ended up acting like he was taking her home and then he sexually assaulted her in the parking lot. More on that clown in a minute. But for the longest, baby girl did not talk to anybody. She wasn't her spunky self. She was the brains the brawn behind everything. We got to do a part two. Part two coming up. I'm spilling tea, bro.